Let's put the door closed a bit. That's it. There you go. Oh, there we are. Oh, and I'm live. Oh, good morning. Good morning, everybody. How nice. I'm here with sound. It's just amazing. Ah, oh, wonderful. Wonderful to be here. I still had to phone Ben to ask for his help, but... um. We got, we got here. So, oh, got a busy, busy time planned today. Ah, oh, I'm going to start off by making my, oh, Beth, you are first. Oh, good to see you. Beth, you're up, you're up. Have you not been to sleep? Oh, goodness me. Good morning. Morning, Glenda. That's not very nice things to look at. Let me just give you better things to look at. Let me cut this material. Oh, good morning, Nina. Lovely to see you. Oh, Beth, dear, have you not been in bed yet? Ah, Beth. Kimberly, good morning. Freddie says good morning too. Let me just webcam you over there. Oh, whoopsie. Don't get dizzy, girls. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, Ed. Oh, he sat in the chair next to me. Oh, we'll have to get a better view, won't we? Oh, you woke up early. Bless you. It, all the way over there in America. For me, it's afternoon and we've had our lunch. And, oh. A yummy table, lots of things to show you. We've had a very inspiring weekend, haven't we? Hello, Mary Lou. Lovely to see you. Oh, Mina, he is my lovely boy. We've had our little walk, haven't we, Freddie? Now, as I was saying, our lovely Beth, she streamed Thursday night. She streamed on the Art Hop Friday. She streamed on Saturday. You must be exhausted, Beth. And on your streams, you give so much. I, I've just listened to the replay this morning, Beth. <laughs> oh, it was lovely. I was in the garden, coffee dying. And um, yes, listening to Beth. Beth's replay in the garden and all the girls were enjoying playing bingo. Oh, Beth, you do spoil everybody. <laughs> Hello to Joe in the background too. I'm sure you're there. Oh, good morning, Mrs. Gigi. Really nice to have you here. Oh, all the way from Finland. Uh, am I right? Oh, good morning, Mel Joy. Look at me here, all fancy, fancy with sound. <laughs> oh, this is a great way to start the week. I love this. Let's start the week in such a positive way. There we are. Um, I'm going to make my ATC coins. In Sweden, I said Finland. I do apologise. The memory I've got, Mrs. Gigi. You're in Sweden, of course. 3 p.m. for you. Mm. And the girls, it's an early start for the girls, isn't it? Eight o'clock at Eastern time, or is it nine? Yes. Oh, so lovely to see you all. Oh, everybody's saying, oh, Kimberly, thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Great way to start the day. Mm. Oh, how is everybody? And Mary Lou, she's been over at Rebecca's 9am Eastern. Um, Mary Lou, you've been over at our lovely Rebecca's sale, haven't you, on Saturday? Did you get some nice bits, Mary Lou? I didn't go because it was very late here that it was on. And also, of course, because of postage. To the UK. So if you're just getting up, grab a bit, grab a beverage and settle down to start the day. Now some of you 
are in the background listening. Some of you are resting, sending love to lovely Car our lovely Caroline. And sending love to all those that are making breakfast for their family. Oh, Mina's in central time, is that? And you're, you are up early, Mina. Having a little rest before you have to get breakfast for the family, maybe. Yes. This felt came in packaging. And I thought at the time, ooh, Mary Lou says, yes, I was at the sale and I can't remember what I bought. It will be like Christmas. Ooh, how lovely. Well, oh, share what you've, oh, could you make a little video maybe? <laughs> or a little Facebook video? A little unboxing, that would be fun. Pretty, pretty day here on the East Coast. I tell, what's it like in Finland, Mrs. Gigi? Because I tell you, it, it is gorgeous weather here in the UK. We, I've been in the garden and um, already, and we've been for our walk. Not, not too autumny, just a few leaves falling. We had to walk, Freddie, in the shade. Oh, Mina is in mountain time. Oh, mountain time. Have I got mountain time on my list? Um, Mina, could you remind me where you live? Oh, you learn so much on this when you're um, with all these lovely people from all over the world. I love it. We're doing an ATC swap in Beth's group. I thought I'd make mine out of fabric. AZ is Arizona. So that's right down south. Ah, yes, because you are on the East Coast there. Um, yep, yep, that makes sense. That makes sense to me. Hmm. Can I get one more? Yes, I can get one more out of this. So ATC coins are... Hello, Eileen, nice, nice to see you. Nice to have you here. Mary, good morning. Nice, nice that you can join us. Nice that you can join us starting our day as we mean to go on in a relaxed way, in a positive way. It's a new day. It's a new, it's a new start for us. I'd like to also say, I've said hello to people that are in the background. I'd like to say hello to people that are watching on the replay. Welcome. My niece, Katie Cat, isn't here in the chat. So I would imagine she's working today and will be watching, watching this later. That's a little bit wobbly there, but I've got four, but I think I'd like to make an extra one. Oh, Mina, you've got polluted air from the fires. Oh, um, I am so sorry. So sorry to hear that, Mina. Ah, oh, it, it's afternoon for me, Teresa, but good morning to you. Oh, you're in the background. You're getting the family ready to go off to work, I would imagine. Yes. Lovely to have you in the background. Lovely to have you there. I appreciate all of you. Beth, who's the lovely um, Grandma Alison? That's it. It came to me. Grandma Alison left a, a comment on one of my videos. So I know that Grandma Alice is in the replay. Um, welcome, Grandma Alice. You're a very important part of the community and I appreciate the fact that you're there. Let's just draw around this one. When I streamed the other evening, I have to sort if I ever do stream in the evening, 
I realize I have to sort my lighting out. My light's a warm light, and I think to give enough light for um, a video, I need to be in, I need to have white, bright light. Good morning, Malaya. Lovely to see you. And there you are with your little girls. <laughs> they, they're awake, I'm sure, early. Starting another school week for you. Busy mum. You're a busy mum, aren't you? We're sending love to you. Hi, Deb. Oh, good morning, Deb. All the way across the sea. <laughs> lovely, lovely that you can be here. Let me put the little aprons away for later. Um, let me know, Kimberly, when it's snack time, won't you? Because I have got a snack today. <laughs> of course I have, of course I have. Oh, um, ADC coins are two and a half inches in diameter. So I was looking for tape. And I found in the end, I went into the kitchen with my ruler. I found one of the Ikea glasses. It's just right. And that's left over from my yogurt. So that's my template. <laughs> Kimberly was just thinking, is it snack time? Well, let me know when it is. I, Of course, because I'm at two o'clock, I, I can have snack any time. But um, <laughs> let me know when it's time to sit down, put our feet up and have our snack. So I was listening to our lovely Laura, the Jersey crafter yesterday. I thought, oh, I must go and do some gardening. Then Laura was opening her packages and she was showing us her coffee dye. So instead of doing gardening, I dyed my fingers <laughs> and I did some coffee dye, making the most of the sunshine. Now, if this was Fran, Fran Baker, is that the right surname? Am I saying the right? Fran Outside the Edge, I think is her channel. Um, she showed me, she showed us all actually in Beth's Facebook group how to do this. You probably know it already, but I didn't know how people got these prints. You dunk the paper in your coffee dye and then you put your stencil on the top and you place it in the sun. And this is what you get. Fran on the Edge, yes. So I'd like to thank Fran on the Edge for showing us in Beth's group this technique. These were jam jar lips and another stencil. Mm, thanks, Beth. Now, they do smell of coffee. Um, does, does anybody have that? Obviously, it's, it's, it's coffee. It's, it's going to smell of coffee. But do other people not like that? Do you put dryer sheets in with yours? Thanks, Janice. Good morning. Our dear Janice is there getting ready for work, aren't you? Yes, yes. Glad you can be here with us. Thank you. Jens, hi, welcome. Ah, oh, welcome. This was uh, a stencil that um, look, they rip. This was ordinary coffee paper, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to be ripping it to put on collage anyway. I like the, quite like the way they're crinkly. Um, this was a gorgeous mat that Meljoy gave me, probably from Poundland or Pound Stretchers. Am I right? And it's a something that you put on the sink to put your pots on so they dry a drying mat <laughs> that's that one and then i used deli paper i love this lovely and crinkly and i'll be able to rip these off to put on my collages um would anybody be able to post a link in Beth's group for me please just say that I'm live just in case Cheryl's up 
no pressure. Gerald might be listening quietly in the background or still asleep. Never any pressure. Thank you, Kimberly. It was only because of Fran that I, I learned to do this. This deli paper was sent all the way from the States by um, Cheryl B. And I thank you for that. Mel and I are still using that, that box. We love it. It's quite nice because when I stick this down, it'll be a bit like a napkin. The book pages will show through. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Eileen. Eileen, thank you. And then you can tell that I... I changed, I changed directions a little. This is the last of the coffee dive. And then someone else online had been spraying on top of their, there's a fly, go away, their coffee dye mixture and printing. So I sprayed, I treated myself to these. Oh, thank you, Mel Joy. Well, sharing is caring. There'll be some here on your desk tomorrow when you come round. Oh, and anyone else in the chat, I'm quite happy to send send them in happy mail. Oh, Malaya, I know. Oh, yes, you're doing the distance learning, and yes, it's you've got a week ahead of you. We're sending you our love, Malaya. You can do it. You've got this. You've got this, Malaya. You can do it. You're a lovely mum. <laughs> oh, Janice, you haven't coffee dyed before, but you think you'd add vanilla to the liquid. Oh, Janice, thank you. Fantastic idea. I've got some, um, I've got vanilla essence. Yes, I'm going to do that. Thank you. Oh, Malaya says the teacher isn't in this week, so we have to do most of it ourselves. Oh, Malaya, right. So you've got reading, research to do. and mm. You use coffee-coloured paint instead of real food. Yes, because Beth lives in Florida where it's very hot. So, yes. Mm. Patsy added mica powder to the coffee and sprayed the papers. Turned out really pretty. Ooh, lovely. Maybe that's where I got the idea from. Oh, Jens. <laughs> oh, so I decided to, I had my dish outside. I decided to spray on the top of it. And it, 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 it's, it's a little bit like um, doing marbling. It's, it floats this. Prismacolor mist, treat to myself, stayed on the top of the coffee dye and I think made a nice pattern. I've got some blobs, but that doesn't matter. And I have some more here. When I sprayed the blue, you'd like that one, Beth. I'm going to do some more tomorrow, though, with um, vanilla in them. Good morning, Cheryl. <laughs> How nice to see you. Oh, you have magicals you haven't used. Yes, I think you need to shake them very well. Um, can I get a, a little glimmer? Maybe not, but the more I use, the more glimmer I got. Oh, I am so sorry. I try so hard not to be an enabler because um, normally I like to be budget on a craft on a budget. But I, I did treat myself to three of these just before lockdown. I do apologise. Uh, I have tried to make my own, but the, even the very fine glitter um, gets stuck in the homemade uh, bottles. So let me just continue through. I made some envelopes ready to, to send. So I just dip this little bit in so I can put the address here. 
Well, sometimes I put the address on the back because I might put some more. Um, how, how are you, Gerald? I, I, I'm presuming everything's okay with your daughter and the family. Is really thinking about you Friday. And another envelope. I did some coffee dyeing, Cheryl, in the garden because it was just such nice weather. You can see that's where it went down on the coffee table outside, the picnic table. I've actually got some nice prints on the um, picnic table. Whoops. <laughs> and here you could see that's where the stencil had some ink on it. Oh, these are going back to the coffee dye, making little envelopes to send out. <laughs> and this is where the water started to get quite dark, the water, the coffee. So I kept each time, I would spray more of the glimmer mist onto the top and it picks it up. This is... Um, watercolour paper so it picks it up nicely it's even nice on the back so that would make a gorgeous tag does it have to be in direct sun do you know Jens when I started it wasn't in direct sun so I don't think so but of course the sun came round very quickly I will experiment tomorrow and I can let you know Ah, uh, there we are. That's that one. And that's when I was using the bronze. Some of them are more subtle than others. All good, thank you. My girl is busy with work and life, thank you. And that's how you want your girl, isn't it? Yes, healthy, full of life and lovely, busy. I'm loving that. I love this one. I've got some of the bronze and some of the purple in that one. I'll just go through these quickly. I don't want to be too slow. And this one, I started to, it doesn't show up very much. I started to whirl it. When they were wet, I thought it was similar to marbling. There was a bubble there, the white, and then it popped. <laughs> and then I started to dip the edges because I was putting in so much purple the coffee dye was getting quite dark so it hasn't shown up very it was a it became a quite a burgundy aubergine eggplant purple more and then this is really does it show up yes It does show up. Hilgen, welcome. Oh, from a rainy Norway. Oh, we've got Finland in, we've got Norway, we've got various parts of America and the UK. It's a worldwide way to start our Monday morning. Hildegan, I'm just showing my coffee dye. I been drying it outside in the sun with stencils over it. But we're going to try some indoors just so we can answer that question, Jens. And this, I dipped this one and got it quite juicy and dripped it down. Oh, Kimberly's, Kimberly, have you started snacking? Oh, Kimberly's got is a cookie caramel round delish Mina I found them in Walmart Kimball is starting without me <laughs> Hildegan thank you I've just been showing the girls it's all sound lovely and crinkly thank you and then last but not least this is quite fine cotton yes wow Norway Hello, Norway. <laughs> I'm loving that. I tried some fabric. This is lovely, um, fine cotton. It, it was, at one time, a pillowcase. 
from a charity shop. And yes, Janice, on cotton, because sewing, you know me, I love gluing, but sewing is one of my new little relaxing things to do. So yes, cotton, and I did the same, and you can tell, it, it's really absorbed the colour. But of course, by this stage, it was quite dark, because I'd been spraying quite a bit in, in there. So yes, so that's my paper. Um, it was coffee dye. It was just my coffee dye tray with quite a lot of bronze and quite a lot of ultraviolet. Um, that, and I just popped it in, lifted it out, popped my stencils on, put it in the sun. Next time I will put it on paper because I would get a nice print from that. Uh, but I've got a gorgeous um, purple print on my picnic table. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, someone's saying be safe there. I'm going to do a little slow stitching. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'll put these away, but I'm happy to show them again if people have missed it. There you go, down there. You're going to write that down? Yep, just ask away any questions. So now I'm going to continue making my ATC coins, unless anyone says they want me to do anything different. Let me just put some paper underneath because I've got my lucky toucan under there. Because <laughs> we're going to do lots of things today. Yes, we are on the East Coast. Beth, is there another storm coming? Oh, you want to take the pup out for a quick walk? Kimberly, enjoy your walk. We'll be here. Let me just get this straight. It's Mina, you're having smoke, aren't you, from the fires. And Beth, you've got another storm coming, have you? There's a hurricane in the Gulf. Oh, keep safe, Beth. I know that Joe's got the house well sorted, hasn't he, for you? Yes, gosh. How do you feel, Beth, after all your streaming Thursday, Friday and Saturday? How do you feel? Rebecca, you caught me live. Oh, we'll be coming on the bus over to you soon. <laughs> oh, lovely. Are you saying, Chell, that this reminds you of Waffle? Yeah? Beth is a champion. Yes, Beth, the champion streamer. Mmm. Welcome to my stream, Rebecca. This is how we roll over here. We're just a gentle start to a Monday morning. And do I do apologise for my hands because obviously I've been dip dying in coffee dye and the, the sprays. So this is cotton. I've been dying onto cotton. Um, Rebecca, dear, how do you feel after your sale? How did it go? Mary Lou, who's just nipped out to walk the dog, said that she bought some lovely things and she's forgotten what she's bought and it's going to be a surprise when she comes. Well, hunker down, Beth, and keep safe. We'll be keeping safe indoors from the hurricane today. So... Last week on my stream, I was doing, this is my new thing to do, making, making things in fabric. Laura, you're recovered. Oh, I bet, I bet. Category four, what does that mean? You're safe. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
we don't worry when it comes to you because I know that you're sa safe because Joe sorted the house out for you. Janet, USA, welcome. <laughs> oh, that's the strength of the hurricane. Okay. Hmm. My lovely Laura, Jersey Crafter. We started doing some slow stitching. Instead of glue and don't think, we've been sewing and don't think. It's nothing technical. You can see, I'm going to bring it a little bit closer and it's going to focus. And it's going to focus on my coffee dyeing hands too. You can see the stitches are big and rough. And these are fabric stamps as well. And last week, the light was very poor, but I just roughly stitched on lots of different pieces of fabric, really fiddly diddly pieces of fabric. Oh, Bear, thank you. It's no, seriously, it really is. So and don't think. And, and then I just place some things on and some little beads. You have to get little thin needles for that. And some buttons. <laughs> and then this time I put felt on the back. And I actually found these fiddly diddly. I say that because I, I know you like me to say that. <laughs> hmm. It's even printed on. If you did, you could actually um, embroider, couldn't you? Janet, this is some Laura and I, a uh, little craze we're going through. Things we usually make with paper, we're making with fabric. If you don't want to do the slow stitching, you could just um, glue them down, glue the little bits down. There are no rules. <laughs> just have fun oh oh mary says category four is 130 to 156 miles per wind speed gosh do you know we don't get that sort of thing over here in england goodness me wow you keep safe Hurricane season, I presume. I'll just go ahead and make one for the minute. Get out my... Oh, Janet, you missed it. Um, you've just come in. I I did some coffee dyeing. And with some... Oh, all these bits are gorgeous. With the Prisma sprays as well. And coffee dyed onto cotton. I did some paper as well, but cotton. <laughs> Down the rabbit hole, LOL. Janet, please. What is the material? Oh, it's a cotton pillowcase. Cleaned. Ah, oh, Gail. Hi, welcome. Ah, oh, I've um, been... Everybody go to Gail's lovely channel. Uh, I've copied down your lovely quotes that you did on your last video. You've just put up another video, haven't you, Gail? I haven't seen it yet, but I will. I copied down your quotes. I hope you don't mind. I'm going to incorporate them into my collage. Right, okay, so this is cotton, Cheryl. Cotton cleaned, cotton pillowcase that I dyed on too. So yes, we're going to do some slow stitching. I've got some other bits and pieces. So it's sew and don't think. I'll sew that on later. So it's just a case of, I think you girls say rehearsing the pieces, don't you? Popping them on, seeing what they feel like. So these are going to be, if you've just come in, these are going to be ATC cards. You can make your ATC cards from cardboard. But um, this is just a little phase that 
Laura and I are going through. Here we are, and Brooke as well has done some nice sewing. There we are. Didn't we have an amazing time on at the hop on Friday? Everybody was just amazing. Oh, hi Janet, just finished it. Hip Doctor. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, Candy. Oh, you you needed to see somebody about that because you've been so immobile, haven't you? Candy. We're sending love to you. I hope it went well. And if you're watching and listening in the background, that is amazing. And I might still be here later when you when you come back. I'm going to try and make this as glue and don't thinky as I glue. So and don't think as I possibly can. Just so you know that it isn't rocket science. I've got some lovely, I tried to pick out autumny, autumny colours because the theme for the ATC swap in Beth's group is autumn. There we are. Let's just put that there. Janet, were you here in time to see the Fabric ATC? This is Laura and I's latest phase, making things in, in fabric. <laughs> <laughs> Your husband's driving you home. You have bursitis. An, an inflammation in your hip joint, am I right? Ah, oh, um, Cheryl, I've been using felt. This is quite stiff felt because it was part of packaging. And I drew around a template. I made myself a little two and a half inch. Thank you, Janet. If I miss anything in chat, do let me know because I, I like to I like to keep up with chat. I do, I really do. Thank you, Candy. <laughs> Thank you. I don't want to miss what's going on with people because uh, we like to think about people, don't we? During the week, if people are having a tough time, and I know Malay is there in the background now getting all the children ready. These are oven gloves and they became so thin that they were burning my fingers so I've kept them I've washed them and kept them I've used some of it because look what's on the back the owls aren't they gorgeous these are images are a little bit big for the ATC coins Cheryl did I answer your questions okay <laughs> put on the list. Yes, let's put it on the list. <laughs> We've all got such a big list from um, Friday's hop. Has everybody had chance to catch up with the hop? Does anybody not know what was happening Friday? Because we can always share some links. It'd be lovely. If we could share Gail, Gail's link, Gail T. Oh, Barb, Barbara, I saw you earlier, didn't I? And I didn't say good morning. Good morning. Goodness me. Barbara, you, you are my um, healthy eating go-to expert telling me all about different types of food. It's got this padding on the back. I think I'm going to save some of that on there. Take some out because that'll be, that, I'm going to say this will be handy. Look, I'm going to leave a little bit of, yeah, 
Let's leave a little bit on the back. Oh, so, okay, and let me read that. I'm sorry to hear about, oh yes, yes. I went to a sports doctor, said it was seven months later, had MRI. Oh, okay. Oh, so gosh. Um, you're in the same boat, Barbara, as um, you have trouble with your joints and moving around and gosh. Sending our best wishes and best, best thoughts out to you. Ah, oh, Christina, hi. Everybody, um, Kilburn's creative art is Christina. Okay, Kay. <laughs> oh, welcome. Really nice to have you here with me. Really nice. This is, there we are, or a big leaf. What do you think? I'm just rehearsing them at the moment. That's probably a little bit too bulky. There we are. I'll start sewing in a minute. You don't have to have felt on the back. I was going to use cardboard on the back of mine. It's just that um, I think I'll just start sewing actually. I had that felt, so I thought I'll use it. <laughs> Cand Candy's in the car, um, Christina. She's just on the way back with her husband. Does that mean hubby's listening too? <laughs> That'd be nice. I could go straight in with the beading needle. Now, I'll put my glasses on, but I have threaded my needles in advance today. Very professional, I know. <laughs> Very professional. <laughs> Let's get the beads out. Malaya, have you not been well? Um, I'm sorry to hear that if you haven't been here feeling well because you're a young mum and you're very really busy. Well, we're all busy. Being a young mum is such a tiring job. I, oh, maybe I won't use the beads because I don't think I've got a beading needle threaded. So maybe not so professional. I'm fine. You, you have poor man problems, yes. Oh, oh, right, okay. That isn't easy. Let's see if we can get something on here. There we are. And it's not, oh, yes. Hormone problems, oh, they're terrible. It's to do with energy levels, maybe. And oh, yes. Literally, no rules. Glue and it's so, oh, I got it through. I'm loving that. It's so and don't think. So big stitches, happy little stitches. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. I think the big stitches give texture. Have I got any more of those leaves? Can you see them? Because I put some leaves on the ATC, didn't I? Um, this is a nice sound too. I'm quite aware of sounds because some of the people that are watching, are very, I know, are relaxing. And quite like the sounds. I'll put this little leaf on, I think, too. I'll just do a little few more stitches. I'm purposefully not going to do anything fancy. You are, ah, Jens loves combining fabric and paper. Oh, yes, definitely. I got this gorgeous border. I don't know whether people remember from Laura. Um, it was on paper, but it, it mixed in paper and fabric. Yes. This is just a little craze experiment. It's not what I normally do. Uh, just something a little bit different to experiment with using. Uh, 
just fabric. Oh, Janice. Yes, you have, yeah. Trace is sending you love and prayers. And, and Teresa, you, you have pain from your hands. Has that eased any? Because you're having the, um, you, you got your medication. You had an injection, didn't you? Sports doctor. Oh, a sports doctor misdiagnosed. Okay. Right. Okay. Beautiful, Janet. And you're eating a cookie. Ooh, okay. Well, I don't want to be left out. Let me let me put that there. If you remember, oh, more to come because I've been making some of these. I'll show you later. <laughs> if you remember last week, uh, lovely Cheryl B from the from the US sent me this lovely. If you weren't here, and it was very dark in my stream last last week. Some cardboard, little apron. Do you call them aprons in the States? Janice, I know you're on your way to work. Um, drive safely, keep safe, and thank you for popping in. Have a really good day and week, Janice. Um, Janice, and we'll, we'll see you. I'll see you in other chats later on today. Apron call them aprons brilliant I didn't want to say the wrong thing oh dear silly me Teresa was telling me yesterday about <laughs> oh you have vintage aprons James oh how lovely I'd love to see those oh and I got this and it was for wacky cake and then in the chat I think it was Kimberly you were telling us that this this cake was very special to you because you had had it for birthday cakes. It's a vintage recipe. You have a wonderful poem on your apron. Oh, I wonder whether you could share that with us. Maybe maybe on one of your streams, Beth. It'd be nice if we could put some stream links in to Beth's stream and to Gail's stream. That would be nice. And to Cheryl, to Cheryl's channel. <laughs> oh. Oh, Trace's great aunt taught you how to make aprons from bath towels. Oh, brilliant. And they were really absorbent. Oh, isn't that lovely when people pass down, family members pass down? Oh, Terry, welcome. Yes, Wacky Cake is your favourite. And I tell you, I can smell it now because yesterday I made some. I used the recipe and it's a, a lot. Oh, the buffering's bad. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, dear. I hope that's not me. Hmm. It does. Doesn't it look pretty? It's such a good idea. Teresa said she had um, a a die cut for this oh circles of doom says janet oh no oh dear hmm that's a shame oh yay she's back oh good oh it's just a little hmm mm. and i must say this let me give you let me read the recipe out rebecca hmm oh <laughs> if i could share it feels like you you girls have Come into my home. I love it. Just sharing this with you. <laughs> Drooling, Malaya. But, oh, if look, if ever you come to London, look me up. I'm only 15 minutes away on the train and there will be a cup of tea for you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Mm, 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 really lovely. Laurie Paint Girl, he said, why am I always eating cake? But I explained it was the afternoon here for me. <laughs> that is really a delicious cake. Mm, really nice. 
let me read the recipe out. I had to make it into grams because we don't use cups here. <laughs> oh, I'm back. Yes, I am back. I've been eating the cake. If you missed it, Mina, I made this chocolate cake. Oh, Mina has her mug of tea. Oh, lovely. Well done. Let's have, let's start the week together with a cup of tea or coffee. <laughs> ah, Jens, I know. It's a very sweet cake. And I, yes, we're all trying to cut down. This was just a little treat. As Abigail was explaining it, it it's, a, it's a beautiful cake and it's for special occasions. <laughs> it, Barbara, this wasn't on one of my lists of special flowers that we were talking about and low sugar. This is, yes, this is the real deal. So one and a half cups of flour. I used SR, which is, that's got baking powder in it. One cup of sugar. If you want me to go slower, Rebecca's coffee's brewing. Oh, well, let us know when you're settled down and <laughs> with your coffee. Three tablespoons of cocoa powder. Half a teaspoon of salt. I put a pinch of salt in. One teaspoon of soda. For us, that's baking powder. Two the grams for the European folks, if needed. One tablespoon of vinegar. That activates the flour and the soda because there are, there are no eggs in this cake. So it's a handy recipe to have in if you've got somebody that has an egg allergy. Oh! Oh, look at that. One cup of cold water. I, oh, when I was making it, I put one tablespoon of cold water. I thought, that's not enough. I'll just keep adding more. Oh, Cher Cheryl's got her coffee brewing. <laughs> oh, well, I added more water. All's well. And five to six tablespoons of melted butter. So that's not a lot of butter. It's low fat, but quite high in sugar. You can smell pumpkin cream cheese muffins from your home. Dang, Starbucks. Oh, seriously, yes. I I like to, if I do go to a coffee shop, I do like to go to an independent coffee shop. But I must admit, Starbucks pumpkin lattes and pumpkin muffins are, are very tempting, aren't they? Hmm. It's a recipe, yes. So I can write this out for you or send it to you. It's really easy. So the wet ingredients, so you melt the butter, and then you, I just mix the dry ingredients together. And yes, really easy, Rebecca. Your little, your little lad would like this. Yes. And then I put mine, didn't say, in a little square tin. It's about a seven-inch square tin. I put some um, baking powder down. Baking powder? Baking parchment on. It said 350. I put mine on 175 because we, we use a different um, metric here. You always add a little bit of coffee to your brownie batter it really brings out the chocolate taste do you know it i was wondering this people were saying that this recipe had been handed down in their families in the states and that it came from right back from the depression that would be in 1930s oh <laughs> mm. um gorgeous I wondered whether it was a pre-runner to the brownie because it's moist inside and it's nice and crispy on the top. <laughs> oh, yeah, like we all need help. I do apologise. Jens, let's get back to the craft. Let's get back to the craft. Yes, you're right. 
I'm getting told off now. And rightly so, rightly so. Okay, so next week I will make something low sugar. Okay, I promise you, Jen. Next week, because um, our lovely Barbara in the chat, chicken pot pie, Barbara, you love the fork. Why are forks in the USA not that handy? Oh, this this is um this is a cake fork. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, Jens. I've been learning how to make very healthy cakes for someone in my family. I've got a little bit left, so I'm just going to use that up. Oh, Kimberly says she's going to have an apple later to make up for it. No, I'm going to use date syrup, which I'm hoping is a little healthier for next week. Have I got enough on here to make a French knot? Oh, do you know I haven't? Never mind. I'll just put a few stitches. Now, don't forget, let's just do this really rough. I want this to be accessible to everybody and if you don't want to sew just glue if you want to do your own thing please do <laughs> there we are and i won't even finish it off at the back because it's going to be glued on so there we are mm -hmm. you add a few pinches of baking chocolate to vegetarian chili Oh, yes, it brings out your flavour. I've heard that before. Do excuse us. We do like to talk about our cooking and our recipes. Yes, chilli. I must try that. You have your mother's silverware set and none of the forks look like that. It's almost like a spork. Oh, yes, the spork, the camping knife and fork. Yes, yes. I got the boys those one on Christmas in their stockings. You're going to use honey. Oh, are you going to make, oh, right. Are you going to make the wacky cake but use honey? Teresa, could you let me know how that goes? Okay, thank you. I, I'm having to make very healthy recipes for somebody in my family. So could you send me the recipe for wacky cake? but using honey, so, or tell me how much sugar, honey I would have to use. Is this an experiment, Teresa? Oh, a pickle fork. I've got a feeling a pickle fork is slow. A pickle fork has two prongs and then it has a mechanism where you can push the um, pickle off from from the fork. I think so. I am not. <laughs> I'm by no means a fork expert. <laughs> um, I'm just thinking this is it's going to be glue and. So and don't think, so I'm not going to think too much. I'm just lifting up something else from there. If your hands aren't working that well, you will want shrimp forks are like that also. Oh, now we don't have shrimp forks. How interesting. Oh, yes. Rebecca's having fork envy. I know, Rebecca, my fork's so much better than yours. I know. No. Oh, showing off about my forks. <laughs> so funny. Oh, dear. Oh, yes, Teresa, do let me know about the um, honey, though, in the cake. Because Sam and I are sneaking this cake in. Pop that. I'm just sewing little. Here we are. Let me bring it a little bit closer and it will focus. Maybe just any little bead I can pick up from here. No right or wrong. Oh, 
you oh grape scissors oh for goodness oh no now that's taking it that's taking it to another level grape scissors oh dear it's Rebecca's first time in the chat and must you be thinking goodness me we haven't oh this is grape scissor envy now I've never heard of them that is fantastic I love that little grape scissors so you don't have to get huge scissors out when you're having your grapes oh they look nice on the plate I love that pumpkin pie with cool whip key lime pie and carrot cake my weaknesses oh look at that trying to steer us away from the food but no we can't stop sharing our favorites oh dear yes but any tips on the sugar free i will i love i'll love that i'm just bring the needle up oh dear uh, you'll have to nip and get some breakfast. It's breakfast time for you guys, isn't it? Oh, Malayas. Oh, dear. We're not trying to enable one another, but you want great scissors. I know. We're trying. Yeah, I know. Well, let's. Yeah. we. OK. This was a special recipe uh, because lovely Cheryl B from the States sent it to us. But now we're going to be, from now on, we'll be doing some, I will be making this cake for special occasions because it's the best chocolate cake. But um, I'm going to make more healthier things in future for our afternoon snack or our time together. When you have friends round, you usually have a cup of tea and a little something to eat. And it just feels the same when I have you guys. Grape scissors are fancy and tiny. I'm, do you know, later on, I'm not going to be outdone, Barbara. I'm going to look those up on eBay. Oh, I'm managing to pull them along this needle. They're so cool looking. I can't get that one through. Some of them go, oh, now it's stuck on the needle. Well, you learn something every day, don't you? We haven't learned anything about craft, but we're sure learning about our, our dining room and kitchen utensils. <laughs> oh, I need one more, one more bead. I'm just... Popping some beads on. Oh, Suze, good morning. Yes, it's I I've had this little box for years, and then one of my lovely colleagues, she gave me the blue ones and these light blue ones in a bottle. That was nice. Melanie has given me various ones now, I'm not going to finish this today just like I didn't finish the ATC I'm desperately kind of oh there we are pull these through oh I think I'm breaking them that's why they're not coming through let's try these little so sorry I yes you can if you go to charity shops or thrift stores, as you call them, and you're getting little bits of clothes and material for your fabric collection, you could get some fabric that's got already got sequins on. So and cut the sequins off the fabric or all your old clothes. Now, Mrs. Gigi, you 
Could somebody put Mrs. Gigi's channel up for me? A little link to Mrs. Gigi's channel because you've been doing this as well, haven't you, Mrs. Gigi? You had a lovely video up of you doing your fabric because after last week, you went in the garage, I do believe, and were finding some of your old fabric collections and you've put up a video which I've watched of you doing a little bit of sew and don't think. I think it needs something else. Ah, oh, I had that, I had, is that too big? Too big? Oh, there was something smaller. I was gonna put this on, wasn't I? Hmm. Here we are. There. Sending love to Caroline. You, you, I know you'll be on the on the replay. You're doing so well. And this has got the padding behind it, so that's going to be nice. I have great feeling just to sew for no reason. Oh, we, um, Mrs. Gigi, if I make you a mod, would you be able to put your link in? Or are you not near a computer? Let me do that. Because it was a lovely video and I did enjoy it. It's nice seeing. Oh, I don't want to. Uh, see, I don't want to. I'm always very wary of clicking on people's names because I don't want to press the wrong button. There we are. Make you a moderator, Gigi, and then this is Gigi, and then you can pop your link in. So people can nip over to see your video if you sewing and don't think. Or doing anything. What are people's crafts? What are you up to at the moment? Oh. Is it only when you... You only get the great scissors out when you have very important company. <laughs> oh. Just some lovely sew and don't think. The other thing I was I'm asking you what you're up to. Who was making a list on Friday at the hop? About all the things they wanted to do. You, oh, Beth, you've already, oh dear, you've been up early. You haven't been to sleep. Christina's putting a journal together. Is it an autumn journal, Christina? Tell us more about your journals. Ooh, these are all things I don't, oh, oh, Dee Dee. You're, um, and Gail's been working on a Farago's Pocket Challenge. Oh, I don't know what a Farago's Pocket Challenge is. Oh, please tell us. Ah. Oh. oh, Deb. Yes, life. <laughs> is life getting in the way? I know. You're busy. You're busy. Oh. Do you know, I've only just finished watching the hop replay this morning. I wanted to watch everything. <laughs> Malaya's teasing Debs. Thank you, Mrs. Gigi. Do follow the link to Mrs. Gigi's channel and subscribe if you're not and, and watch her lovely videos. Very positive videos and <laughs> you're no quitter. Dee Dee gives three new pockets every week on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. I love pockets and she shows how to make it and then later shows how to make tags to fit in them. How lovely. You've got to love a pocket. We love a pocket here, don't we? You just subbed, um, Gigi. Oh, Jen's lovely. 
I'll do hop over there later. Yes. Lots of positivity and relaxing. Mm. Gail, we haven't managed to get um, a link in for your channel yet. Would you like me to make you a mod? I don't know. Can one have too many mods? I, I don't know. I just make people mods so they can throw in a link. Um, I don't want anybody to feel pressured. And it's coming on. And I will write something on here with the tiny little letters, maybe. I will write a word. I've got create in cotton there, but that's too big. Ah, oh, or someone else can do it. Let me just let me just write that because Gail, another person, full of positivity. Full of positivity, lots of notes to write down in my book. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Kay. Thank you. So nice to have everybody here. <laughs> have, have you here at the house. So shall I say, for now, this is done in a small way. I might do some blanket stitch around the edge. Thank you, Kay. I think you'll find that I've done that. Let's say, let's say that's finished. Mm -hmm. oh. I'll pop that there. Finished for now, because this is very relaxing. I will be sitting with my feet up, watching some, some lovely people on replay, maybe even on the television. Do I have any alphabet beads? I didn't know you could get alphabet beads. I haven't. Oh, I will have to look for those because wouldn't alphabet beads be gorgeous? Mm. I'll just show you the little pot of stamps that I found before I put this away. I use my stays on ink. I found these and I was looking at stamps and aren't they lovely the only letter that was missing was the s and um they were in a bag somewhere the s will turn up so i used the z for the s instead so ooh, beth's going to come over to beth's tuesdays you might want to pop in your link because just in case i'm sure everybody Everybody's been to Beth's, but maybe not. So throw in your link if you can, Beth. You, you maybe you're just relaxing. Someone else will. Beth streams on a Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, Eastern time. And we have fun. We have fun at Beth's. Oh, yes. Games, bingo on a Saturday. Mm, swaps. Painting, oh yes. Kay loves British TV. Can you recommend something good to watch? Ah, okay. Something good to watch, British TV. Oh, do you know, just off the top of my head, Kay, you'll find it on YouTube, but originally it was on British TV. There's my cotton ready to stamp. Uh, Rosemary and Time. It's set. I can't remember where it's set in England. It's beautiful. You it you travel around England and or Britain, and there's these two English. One of them's rather well spoken. Two English detectives, and it makes you think. Gosh, maybe I don't want to go to England because everywhere there goes, there's a little murder. And they had them. It's a little murder mystery. Mel Joy recommended it to me. So uh, I, I just off the top of my head, someone has downloaded Rosemary and Time onto YouTube. And it's fantastic. I love it. Now, 
Gail has put the link into her channel. Oh, please do follow that. And um, it's lovely to discover new people to follow. And Beth, this is Beth's channel. Beth, a regular. Oh, Beth likes Cross Dog Show. <laughs> oh, your husband's watching Coronation Street for close to 50 years. Oh, that's crazy. I think it's been going for about 60 years, hasn't it? Because my parents have been married for 60 years and they've been watching Coronation Street all those years. Yes. I don't like Coronation. It's a bit too gritty for me, a little bit too grey. Yes. I watch Neighbours. Don't get me started. <laughs> That's an Australian soap. So, Cindy, if you're on the replay, <laughs> I watch Neighbours. I'm sure Australia is nothing like that, but it's a little bit more sunshiny than Coronation Street. <laughs> but if your husband likes that, he must like the accent as well. Oh, Barbara loves Rosemary and Thyme. Have we got any links there to uh, for from YouTube for the Rosemary and Time for Kay. It's just relaxing viewing. <laughs> right, so I thought, shall we make one of these today? Shall we? It's to go in a journal. So you could make a hinge with paper to put it in a journal. Ah, oh, Deb loves that show. I was late to it. I never, it was only this year that Meljoy helped me find that. Anybody else can recommend any, one of them was on, oh, and it had Catherine Zeta-Jones when she was young. Oh, yes. They're on a farm. It'll come to me. It'll come to me. That, oh, I loved that. Oh, it was from a novel, wasn't it? Oh, yes. Does anyone else know that one? You have the Rover's Return Coasters. Oh, Barbara. <laughs> you are funny. My mum comes from up north in Lancashire, Barbara, so she has an accent like that. <laughs> oh, that will come to me. Don't worry. I will remember that. But, yes, Darling Buds of May, Deb. Wow, Deb's on point. Darling Buds of May. Can you get that on YouTube or anywhere? Emma Dale. Oh, Mrs. Gigi. Oh, no. A little bit too close to reality, maybe. A little bit miserable, maybe, Emma Dale. I don't know. Can you get that on YouTube? Oh, lovely. Okay. That was a gorgeous series. Okay, let's make one of these, shall we? I'll leave that there, the one that the lovely Sharon made. So, my latest obsession this week. Oh, it's on BritBox. Oh, you have BritBox. Okay, brilliant. I made one in fabric, just because I can. <laughs> oh. So, and I made it in Christmas material. And... Inside, I've got a mason jar, cute little egg, thank you. It's a little Christmas one. And I had some red felt, that's at the back, and some blanket stitch around the edge. You don't have to put blanket stitch around the edge if you don't know how to do it. And on the back, I'm going to write a Christmas recipe. Haven't got that far yet. Yes, what fun, yes, it really will. I want to make a smaller one, two smaller ones for my Christmas advent journals. Hmm. The mason jar, Beth, is a die that you put through the big shot. And I had it, I've had it for many years. I can send you some, Beth. And anyone, just let me know. All I need to do is write it down. Oh yes. Are you going Barb Barbara, are you gonna make full size aprons or this size? Yes, if you've got a sewing machine. 
use a sewing machine, yes. You could make a cup of cocoa and use the cocoa recipe. Oh, no, or coffee cake. Oh, Beth, Beth is, oh, you are firing on all cylinders. Let's write this down. Let's put apron design. I don't know how to spell design. We're good at spelling. And um, cocoa. Cocoa mug. Oh, I can't even spell cocoa online. Oh, I love that idea. I love that idea. <laughs> you have English magazine and it has recipes for snowflake cookies. Oh, yum. Sharon just walked past me and said, are you watching Sesame Street? That accent sounds too nice. <laughs> oh, Shannon thinks I'm being too proper. <laughs> oh, oh, absolutely fabulous. Yes, that's British TV. And a cup of tea with a tea bag. Oh, my goodness. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Oh, keep it coming. Excuse the drawing. Oh, plus the tea bag as a little to write the recipe on. That I could give you my tea loaf recipe. I'm loving that. And um, yes, yes, loving these ideas. We'll try and get a non sweet tea loaf oh, with honey. Oh, you're going to make these ones. Yes. Oh, she's hurting herself laughing so much. Yes, one of these ones. Brilliant. Yes, my beautiful vintage sewing machine, still not back. Uh, from being um, serviced so I will be using that but just for little things in paper just like you Barbara you have the die cut for the apron oh Teresa that's kind of you I'm going to do a little demo Teresa just in case because I think we might be able to do one without Oh, oh, yes, a flower pot for the spring. Oh, look at that idea. Yes, and the seed packet. Oh, yes. Now I have a very old fashioned recipe for seed cake. I keep meaning to make that for Melanie because her mum used to make that for her. So, yes, thank you, Mrs. Gigi. I love this community of ideas. A garden apron. Mm. Oh, a garden. Oh, what about a garden apron and garden gloves and gloves for sunflower, sunflower seed bread or something like that. Yeah. I'm writing them down for you if you haven't got time. You have two large stamps with a rooster and hen, and I think they have recipes on them. Would be cute. Oh, with one of the cards, and maybe the spices in a packet attached. Oh, okay, spice jar labels. I haven't been soaking those off. Okay, spice jar labels. Oh, wow. You guys, you guys, we're on fire. That was very generous, Teresa, of you to say that. You've got a flower pot in the mail with seed tape on it. Oh, seed tape. Oh, yes. And you can get it impregnated into paper as well, can't you? Yes. A recipe swap. Yes, a recipe swap. We love that. So... I did a little rough cut out to, oh, I made another one. Sorry, I didn't tell you. Oh, I made one. I went old school. I made it out of paper. Paper with a little bit of sewing. I'm going to get a one to put on it. Mel Joy, I'm going to ask her very kindly if she can give me one of her hair stamps. <laughs> and this 
was from Meljoy too. It's a an Alice in Wonderland napkin. There's the Queen of Hearts. And there's the jam tart recipe. It's a little bit ripped, but all jam tarts are a short crust pastry with jam and just bake it in the oven. Oh, are you okay? A, a recipe swap sounds fun. Yes, yes. Well, don't worry about typos. It's type and ease, as Becca would say. Isn't that right? So, yes, I can do something on the back. And I made it from an old cookery book, one that was no longer able to be used. So I made it up. Right, so that's what I've been making. So let's see. I made myself a little template. Let's, let's see if we can manage on our own. Okay, on the spring list. <laughs> oh, thanks, Deb. People do like Alice in Wonderland, don't they? Some people make Alice in Wonderlands. Oh, white rabbit charm. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, you're trying to sort. Yes. Yeah. Oh, sending love. Sending love to Mel Joy. Oh. And dear Dexter. Yes. Yes. Not well. Hope he gets sorted out. Oh, because he's usually so full of beans, isn't he? Oh. There's two trees of churches. Can someone help me? No, just one. <laughs> oh, thank you, Janet. You have an Alice in Wonderland stamp. Oh, wow. How lovely. You need to go. Yes. Rebecca needs to go. She's going online. Pop over to Rebecca's when you get the notification. Um, I will be going, I'm going to carry on for a while, Rebecca, if you don't mind. Um, but I will be over there. Yes. Thank you for coming. <laughs> We've learned a lot about cake forks and things. Oh, Bella Dog is on your lap. You can't decide if she's snoring. Oh, or your stomach's rumbling. Oh, Deb, if you need to get up and, I oh, know, poor Dexter. Hmm. Oh, Rebecca, let's get Rebecca's, oh, Beth, dear, would you, um, or would you send a link, or, or would you, if you're okay, if you're okay to do that, because I know you're resting, or somebody put a link in for our dear Rebecca's channel, so we can pop over there, sorry, I should have said that, very remiss of me, just just remind me all the time, please. Right, so I folded A4 paper in half. I sort of want it to be smaller. Let's see if we can manage without the... Across there like that. It's a lovely little charm. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, love to Dexter. It's a little rabbit one. I've got earrings that Melanie made me too. Let's go down because if it doesn't work, it doesn't matter. You can use a ruler if you like. You might want to use a ruler. Now, is that going to be more than half? No. Now, I haven't used a ruler. So then let's see if it works out. Put it there and there. It's in half. This is just get it. Um, I could try and cut it it's a little bit straighter, couldn't I? This is the apron. Of course, I'm going to be trying all your lo other lovely ideas. Thank you. Thank you, Beth, for putting in lovely Rebecca's. Oh, Rebecca streams. Every afternoon, Monday to Friday. Oh, it's come out a little bit chunky. So let's go down around a centimetre and see if that helps. I think we need this bit to be thinner. Yeah, 
I think that'll be fine. I think I might make it a bit shorter. Teresa, yes. Don't you worry. You relax. You have a day off from links. No one ever has to feel that they have to be like busy linking and no, you relax. Malaya, thank you to store before the next round of classes. Um, Malaya, safe journey. Keep safe and we'll be thinking of you this week because I know you're extra busy because of the schooling situation. Hope it goes well. You've got this, Malaya. You can do it. You've got it. Good morning, Melissa. How are you? Ah, oh, have you been making coin ATCs, Melissa? So I don't know why I'm folding that in half. Maybe I don't need to fold that in half. I can just go round it. So I'm, what I'm doing is I'm making a smaller one. I made a template. Mm -hmm. Chunky one. Yeah. It's a lovely one, isn't it? There you go. This one I just cut out. Just made myself one like that. And of course, we're going to be doing mugs and flower pots and whoa. I'm going to keep these little templates. There we are. Let me know. Let me know or Teresa know if you do have trouble making the template though. Melissa, we're making aprons with pockets to put little recipes in for our channels. But you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Do you think it's too chunky? I'm just going for it. There we are. Cut that out. Now, oh, I know what I was going to, oh, I'm so sorry. Um, it's going to be, it's all about food. We'll get down to the positive. The next thing underneath here, because I'm working my way down the pile, is the toucan, the positive quotes on the toucan. I'll save this bit because this will make a nice tag. This is two pages um, together. I'll make a nice tag. Ooh, jam sponge. Oh, no, I will need that for the, for the pocket, won't I? Silly me. Deb, yes, you have to, yes, of course. Oh, you like the little apron idea. I know. Originally, it's it's a die cut. And this was from my friend in America, um, Cheryl B. So she started us all off. Yes, putting your own spin on it. I would love to see that, Deb. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for popping by. It's lovely. Have I seen the coffee cup that Lizzie makes from playing cards? Oh, do you know I haven't? Will it be in the title of her videos? Coffee cup. Ooh, yes. That sounds nice. I can look it up. If anybody else knows, they can, if they want to, they can put in a link. I know, Teresa, you are. Oh, have I missed something from Jen? Nothing is too chunky in my art world. Jen's, yes, good question. Has Have you got a channel? Thank you. Thank you for looking after the channel for me here, Teresa and everybody. Yes, please let us know. We love to find new people, don't we? Right in saying, Melissa has a sewing machine now. 
How are you getting on with that, Melissa? Oh, yes, sorry, you've just said that as well in the chat. I didn't see that, yes. I have no vids up yet. I post mostly on my Instagram. Oh, Jens, let me just write this down. What is your um, handle on, is that handle, what do you call it? Your name on um, Instagram. And then if we have, I have an Insta account. I'll just put my, what it is in here, just like this. It's not a link because I haven't got that clever yet. I will. Once I get clever, I'm very new. I will be linking left and right. Janet Makes, all lowercase, joined up if you want to find me on Instagram. I'm just cutting the this pinny bit out. There we are. There. Might be nice with rounded corners. I wonder whether this bit needs to come in a bit. No, I'm going to leave it as it is. Ah, there you go. Instagram handle. I don't know whether that's what I... That, right, I'm going to write this down. Jens. Anybody else got Instagram? Artlandia. So that's under, the little underscore in the middle. And it's there's no apostrophe, it's Jens. Yeah. Oh, what have you been doing on your own rabbit trail there? Uh, we're making aprons. <laughs> now... The recipe I'm going to put in this is going, it's a British recipe, I think. Has anybody heard of butterfly cakes? These are my napkins from lovely Laura. Oh, you are an absolute angel to get that coffee cup link. Lizzie makes... Um, a coffee cup out of playing cards. Our lovely Lizzie. Wasn't it a joy? Just for a little minute. I'm going to go on a rabbit trail. Oh, Beth sent me the link. Thank you, because you know I won't be able to catch this. Oh, thank you. Uh, Beth found the link, but I would love to see your uh, your coffee cup. Please, Teresa. Oh, sewing, yes, it's hard. You need somebody that's able to help you, don't you, Melissa, really? Don't worry about sewing if it's going to be stressful. I would, let me just get rid of this. I would maybe just do gluing for the minute until someone can show you sewing or follow some YouTube tutorials. So, we had lovely Linda, and on this, I'm talking about the hop on Friday. We had lovely Linda who showed us acrylic paints. And wow, if you haven't followed Linda's channel, at the end, she showed us her beautiful journal that she was making with um, paint. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Then there was me and the toucan. And then lovely Lizzie with her Zentangles. And she was untangling it for us, showing us how she made them with her stencils. Taking it right back to the beginning. And that was, that was really lovely. I know a lot of people have been finding that very, very helpful. Kendra has been putting up some gorgeous pictures. And then Kathy Berg was showing us the jelly plate. I had some great ideas from that. The way she was blocking the colours, I thought that was fantastic. Really good. Okay, Teresa, yeah. 
yes there are youtube videos we put some links out last time but i'll send you some more yeah oh and then in the evening of course we had our merry at the beginning and end of all these and then we had our very own beth all that glitters if you haven't seen any of these go back to the replays because absolutely gorgeous i so wanted everybody to see beth's uh, lovely salt shaker idea for the glitter you had so many ideas and then anne lair came on she had she was doing her, making stamps from fun foam i've made a note i was making loads of notes i'm going to make some of the border stamps that she made i thought they were gorgeous Now, is 49 Dragonflies an Abito bird song? Is that um, a channel or an Instagram? Is that, Jen, is that one of your favourite channels? Because if it is, we will write that down. And then Paint Girly came on. Laurie from Paint Girly. Oh, and she was painting on handbags. I love... Laurie's gentle voice. I love her painting style. It's just so quirky. Her quirky, antiquated snowman. And she was painting on a handbag. Loved it. Loved it. Oh, Dorinda. Oh, you. Oh, both of those. Oh, okay. They're both somebody. Oh, let me write these down. Unless it's gone out of chat already. No. 49 dragon flies and the other one that I'm not pronouncing very well yeah bird song mm, okay we great and then we had Aunt Bex so there's some if you go back to the Fibsville, and on the community tab, you'll find all the links to these. Some fantastic ideas. And Aunt Bex was using chipboard and making up ATCs and tags all ready to go so you've got them. And she made this cute little box out of chipboard to put tiny little prompt cards in. Loved it. And Mary, I still need to catch up with Mary's late night stream. And Mary was a lovely hostess. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Gigi. Mrs. Gigi's popped the link in too for Lizzie's playing card link. Thank you. Those purses were amazing, weren't they? Yes. And thank you to Mary for organising this. And of course, why am I not saying it? Mary demonstrated her crayon melting techniques and the different strokes that you can use. Meljoy's coming round tomorrow. Meljoy's got the wax crayons. I've got the heat, heat gun. So between us, we're going to have a little go. Dorinda, welcome. So lovely, so lovely to see you. Now, where's my brush gone? Ah, can't see it, so my spatula will be somewhere. I'll just use this. I'll have to use this because I don't have any brushes at the moment. I need to order some more because I've been very harsh on my brushes and they, they've given up on me. So I shall pour a little bit of glue in here. I shall improvise. I've been very rough on my brushes. Ah, now before we got on this wonderful rabbit trail of all the different channels, I'm making this little recipe one here. And I'm going to, the recipe card is going to be for butterfly cakes. 
Paper Outpost. Oh, yes. She's lovely. Love the Paper Outpost. Love what she does. Yes. She's great for making pockets and pocket ideas. And Yes. She also has an Instagram account. I'm just seeing if there's another layer to this. No, I don't think so. Right. So improvising. Oh, no. I found it. These are great. If I did have more paint brushes, they won't get as bad because you just peel it off. Although acrylic paint sticks. I'm not the only one, am I? I love crayons too. Yes. Yeah. They're lovely, aren't they? So this is going to be my little recipe apron for butterfly cakes. So let's put some more glue. Oh, back to the gluing. Gosh. Do you know, I think the sewing, even though it's sew and don't think, probably takes a little bit more concentration. The gluing is, oh, so relaxing. Also known as fairy cakes, but with butterfly cakes, you do something special with them at the top and you, you make them into butterflies at the top. You put jam in and make them. That's going to be like that. So let's see if I can do this. I haven't done this for a while. Is that what you meant? They are, there is a fairy cake recipe. You're right. True that. How do we tear this off? Oh, maybe it just comes off like that. Oh, there you go. Not too shabby. And when it's sewn on like that. Yes, that's fine. So with a butterfly cake, this will be upside down. I'll do it on the side. So you've got your cupcake. Our cupcake cases are smaller than your muffin cases. So it comes up like that. You chop off the top. And in the little hole, you put jam. And then you cut the wings in half. And then... You put those on the top of the butter and to make a butterfly out of the sponge. <laughs> Ooh, there's lots of links going up here. Gail, Grammy's keepsakes is great. She does wonderful tutorials and such meticulous work. She is a good friend too. Oh, lovely. Gail, thank you for sharing all this with us. Lovely. I just put some more butterflies. These are my napkins that I keep from Laura. They were kept in her Happy Mail page. I knew I would knew I would want to use them. I shall have one flying in. I thought butterfly cakes were a British birthday must have at children's party. Oh, yes, yes. Butterfly cakes and um, Barb, yes. Just a normal fairy, fairy cake, yes. Like this, and it comes up. And then you put icing. Oh, Beth sent me another link. I'm loving that. You put icing and then hundreds and thousands on the top. Water icing. Icing sugar. <laughs> That's the fairy cake. <laughs> oh. Sorry, Melissa, am I ignoring you? Have I missed something that you've said to me, Melissa? I do apologise if I have. Here we are. Pop that butterfly. One's flying out. <laughs> 
tear that off. Oh, I don't want to tear his little body off. I would imagine Beth knows a way to do this. You wet a Q-tip, don't you? That's that. How lovely. And I'll have one flying in. A little set of three here. Three butterflies. And then in the week when I'm relaxing, I shall stitch or glue those on. And I look forward to seeing your creations if you want to, if you want to do this. Oh, Barbara, yes. Oh, the recipes, the, the fairy cakes. Yes, don't forget that our fairy cases are smaller. Your muffin cases are quite big. <laughs> oh, Cheryl. Oh, you, well, you don't have to concentrate that hard. You're relaxed. You're relaxed, and that's the main thing. There we are, I've got one coming in, one flying out. I might put some butterfly stamps on it when it's dry. We will see. And now look, I've got all glue. Oh, but I need that. I'm going to move these out of the way so I don't get them. Now we're going to come to, oh, chuck it over there. And I didn't need that. I shall clear up this mess later. There we are, the toucan, still here from Friday. I haven't done anything else on him. Oh, you've got a brother. Oh, I, yes, the, it's a brother sewing machine. I was lucky that the I still had the manual to my sewing machine and the receipt. Oh! It's paint girly. Were your ears burning, Laurie? <laughs> we were just talking about your lovely handbags. How amazing they were. And paint girly is Laurie for people that don't realise. Well, we were just saying, I love the quirkiness of your, your style, your, your vintage little snowman. Yes. What a super idea to paint on the bags and the purses, the handbags. I've painted on canvas bags, but not on leather bags or faux leather. So there's something for us to do. Another thing to put down on our list. We've been complimenting you. And I'm afraid to say, Laurie, you've missed me eating the cake. <laughs> I hate to point. <laughs> Oh, so lovely that you can be here with us. And people, please hop over to Laurie's channel. And also, I'm just in the middle of listening to Laurie's latest video from Friday, an eco-boil reveal. You're doing some jelly printing after the hop, inspired by, um, oh gosh, my memory, who was, who were you inspired by, Kathy? Goodness me, my memory. You were inspired, weren't you? Mm -hmm. I know, Gail, they were adorable. Oh, Laurie's blushing. I love these emojis. Look at that. <laughs> She's saying, too kind, too kind. Aww. Right, so if, if, if someone has a little bit of spare time there and they're not too busy, we could pop the link in for Laura's channel. I'm going to be definitely watching that eco boil paper reveal. I love that sort of thing. Not even Laurie, as she was opening it up, would know what was inside. What's everybody doing? How was everybody inspired on Friday? What's the thing that you're going to do on your list? 
oh, Jens, you've got quite a few machines. Now, Beth's husband, Joe, he likes sewing machines. A treadle one would be fantastic. Oh, OK. Go online, type in Brothers Machine. Well, we will get the number and make from Melissa and help Melissa find some links, won't we, there? Yes. So, yes, what is everybody up to since, since the hop? What were you inspired by? Oh, dear. <laughs> uh oh, Circle of Doom. I'll wait till I'm back. Don't worry, I'll wait till I'm back. Tell me when I'm back. <laughs> Candy, you're home now. Good, good. You must be exhausted. Absolutely exhausted. Oh, back. Candy, I'm saying welcome, welcome back. Put your feet up, Candy. You've had such a morning. Yeah, okay. Good, I'm back. Thank you. Oh, okay, Jens, thank you. We will. We will. We will get some knowledge from you. Thank you. So, as part of my bit of the hop, I wanted to make my toucan this time. I've got no idea how this is going to work because I just thought of it as Freddie and I were on a walk on Thursday. I wanted to do something different. And this is going to be a little bit of a collaborative project. So I'm literally going to glue the positive quotes on this little toucan. And Caroline, shout out to Caroline, gave me some amazing quotes. And... We've all got our things that we're going through and uh, uh, it amazes me. We're all going through things and but we're still able to set, you're still able to send me quotes and positive quotes and sayings and I do appreciate that. The other thing that Caroline told me when I said we needed to find a name, Beth, you close your eyes. Close your eyes. Yes, you've been up. You've been up all night, haven't you? Close your eyes. It's been lovely to have you with us. Absolutely lovely. And the the other the other thing is, Beth, I'm used to going to sleep with you, aren't I? I have you on all night in the background. I just fall asleep gently. Sleep well, Beth. <laughs> oh Nancy that's kind of you oh. so the Latin just when I was going to get all schooly for Beth <laughs> Latin for toucan is ramfas ramfastosus ramfastos ramfastos sulfuratus ramfastus Sulfuratus. It's like school. Ah, <laughs> oh. oh, Janice. Yes, Rosemary Morris's eco print reveal. I watched that. I I love them. It's like an unboxing, isn't it? Because you just don't know what's going to happen. Thank you, Janice. Yes. So I wondered whether we could get a name from the Latin for toucan for this guy. It's, um, we could call him Ram. Or what about Fasto? Or what about Sul? <laughs> or Rattus? <laughs> Can we get a name from the Latin, maybe? I'm not sure. <laughs> we'll think about that one. We'll come up with a name. I'm going to cut these quotes out and I'm going to read them. I, and, and knowing that these come from all of you guys is so, so special. Sully. Oh, do you know, I could call him Sully. And I thought that 
Laura, the lovely Jersey crafter, Laura, her nickname is Sully. Do you think she'd mind if we named our toucan Sully? What do you think, girls? This one, oh, something's happened to my camera. Janet, you are blurred. Oh, right, okay. I don't quite know what to do about that. Let's lift it up. Ah, okay. Ah, I went blurry and I'm not quite sure why. So, oh dear. Now, that might mean... So maybe skip that one, yeah, Jazz. Now, that might mean your autofocus is on. Now, I've only got a camera. They've got, I've got no buttons on my camera. So I can go in and have a little look, but it might mean it's time for me to finish. No. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say it's probably time for me to finish, yeah? Laura would love it. I'll ask her. Oh, yes, because it's more positive than the, um, it's more positive than the hurricane. I'm sorry that my um, camera's gone fuzzy. I will ask Ben how to deal with this next time. So I'm going to say goodbye. Put your hand in front of the camera. Okay. Put my hand in front of it. And then again. Oh, It's probably time for me to go. Oh, oh, I'm back. Oh, Laurie. Well, you learn something every day. Thank you, my dear. Thank you. Oh, it does not have one thing to focus on. Oh, let's put it there. You focus on that little camera. Thank you, Laurie. I do apologise. I've learned something. And I've got, so yes, yeah, let's ask Laura. But yes, you're right. We grow old when we, no, I haven't got that one properly. I need to do that one. It's probably when I lifted this paper. All these lovely positive quotes. I just love being with you guys. I didn't want to say goodbye, but. Uh, be the, this is, this is gorgeous. And this is, this is something I do live, try to live by. I'm not going to say we're going to be able to, thanks, Lauren, do these feel positive every day. I'm really not thinking that. This is Beth's one. Be joyful. <laughs> and I put a little bee there. And we'll think of we'll think of Beth. And this one says, be the reason someone smiles today. Isn't that fantastic? Beth is always joyful. Let's hope Beth's sleeping now. Yes. Mm. That's lovely. Yeah, she is. She is lovely. She gives so much to us. Mm. Wherever, wherever life plants you, bloom with grace. The person that sent me this wasn't saying this lightly either. Um, wow. Thank you. These are very special, very special indeed. I have no, I have no set plan of how this is going to look, how it's going to be. All I have is in my head is that I want to get all your quotes. I think I'll do some some way, some another. What's everybody up to? I know it's morning. Oh, are you painting, Laurie? I like your voice, Laurie, very, very gentle. Oh, 
Ah, oh, well done. Well done. You've been getting things ready, Deb. Yes. Are these school shirts or shirts for you? It's good to get jobs done. Ah, oh, Teresa, good. You're watching and relaxing. How lovely. That's what I like to do. Put people on the big telly and crossing things off your to-do list. I know. This is the only sort of list I like where we've got ideas. We've had some, people have been coming up with some amazing ideas today. If you stumble, make it part of the dance. I love that. Thank you. Cheryl, you sent me one and I haven't written that. I've written it down. I haven't typed it out because I haven't been on the typewriter today. I haven't forgotten your one, Cheryl. Yours is, you make my rainy day sunny. And the other one I thought I'd put on here is just the word joy. Because I like that word. Just round them off. I'm not inking the edges. I'm not, I don't know. I just, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just popping them on. There we are. Yes, yours will be in the next round. <laughs> I love my little vintage typewriter. You have to press the keys so hard to get it to work. <laughs> but it's lovely. There we are. I think this is quite a, a good little list to start with because I think I will gather more as the weeks go by because we usually share some don't we if you can dream it you can do it well there we are have a go who's gonna have a go at painting on a handbag or a bag or a purse who's been inspired <laughs> yeah, that, it doesn't have to be, you don't have to concentrate to watch. Do you know, um, Cheryl, I wonder whether you're recovering from Friday and getting the news about your daughter. Because I think I'm always saying this to Beth because she went through such a hard time. It does tie you out, doesn't it? Stress. And you must have had a stressful time. Start each day with gratitude. Thank you for this one. The great thing about this is, if you don't like it, you can just, um, yeah, just redo it. Have I gone over his beak? Am I going? Is this his body? It's penciled in. I'll come. I'll come in this bit. If you go wrong, you can just glue it again. Oh, what am I making? I'm making a collage out of magazine bits and pieces. Excuse my hands, they've been in coffee dye and glittery paint. <laughs> you can just like, yeah, just just the normal gluing, Melissa, glue and magazines. You can make the pieces bigger as well. Draw out a flower and put bigger pieces. Start each day with gratitude. Now, the words are all going to run into one another, but I don't think that's a problem. If people want to look closely, they can. Oh, thank you, Teresa. Yes, I've done very well so far on, on the stream, haven't I? I've, I've 
try to have my nails nice and not not painted not glorious but certainly not like this but it's all in the name of art <laughs> magazine oh magazine collaged mosaics oh yes or, or like a like a little stained glass window yes yes oh yes yes instead of collage i think that's more descriptive deb actually yeah you make a good point nearly used all that up in the lid now i just keep adding more and more glue that's it put them all every which way it's just so i can read these positive quotes out to you and i've got two more focus on the step oh this is a this is a good one focus on the step in front of you not on the staircase wow and seriously these aren't always easy to do oh okay i can do this one as well i've just got a little bit of a typo on it but it says we grow old when we stop okaying that came up on friday on the stream actually i can't remember who said it now but thank you you can always leave your positive quotes for me in the let me get some more glue loving that in the comments or in one of the groups be lovely but we'll build it up no pressure we'll build it up as the weeks go by right last one last one here we are and i think we've had a busy afternoon i think we've just got our wonky heart to do and then it's time to get on the bus <laughs> definitely maybe time to get on the bus Focus on the step in front of you. Um, oh, thank you. Find joy in your, thank you. Find joy in your journey. That's nice. Oh, I said I wanted to write joy. Oh, great. That's lovely. Find joy in your journey. Thank you. Yes, Melissa, that would be lovely. Yes, you could make one in, in your glue book. That would be fantastic. Oh, what you meant to say, Barbara, was playing, but okaying makes sense too. Okay, we grow old when we stop. Oh, yes. Well, let's have okaying, but I'll write it down for next time. We'll have playing. Is that actually a quote from Picasso? Is it, maybe that's one of his quotes. Fantastic, thank you. We stop playing. Mm, I like that. Mm, thank you. Right, one more. One more to pop on, and then to the wonky heart we go. And this one says, see, I didn't even put it on the dyed paper. I just put it on white. I don't know why. That's just what I did. Ah, <laughs> oh, Terry, yes. Got to, Terry's another one that's been, it, that you're, uh, it's distance learning, I think you call it. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. I appreciate you being here. I hope it's been a relaxing start to the week for you. And um, I hope your week goes really well. Bye-bye, Terry. Ah, you do. You do run a, have a, a glue book, Melissa. If you remain positive in a negative situation, you win. Now, this isn't something that's always possible. Not always possible, but maybe sometimes it's nice to be reminded. 
I think we help each other. Certainly, I've been helped online. When I wasn't very well, I was helped very much by Lizzie and all her positive quotes at the end of her streams. I used to rewind them and listen to them because they did. They did. It did help me a lot. That's probably why I do this because I know this sort of thing has helped me. So maybe that's why. <laughs> lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And the last thing I need to do today before I take up any more of your time and everybody else's time, I would like to make another little wonky heart. So this is last week's. Enjoy the little things. And I stuck a painty paper wonky heart on. Printed onto fabric. I love that. And let's do another one for today. I'm I don't want to put even wax paper over this because I'm going to work around it. I'm going to work around that. This was left over from Friday when I was doing bits of this purple. I just, it's fabric. It, it's a picture of fabric. I love it. So this is my wonky heart journal. Wonky because I don't always have to have everything perfectly symmetrical because life's just not like that. That will go back on the purple tray. And we're simply going to glue this in our wonky heart journal for today. Oh, yeah, oh, Teresa, I know, I know. You have been making tags, though, haven't you, for Bear? I've seen what you've been making, but it's hard with your hands, I know. You're taking it easy. Ooh, you, Charles made up a quote. Stop. <laughs> Stop what you're doing. Um... Oh, the actual quote is, the proper one is, we don't stop playing because we grow old. We grow old because we stop playing. Wow. Now, is, is that the, is that the Tasso quote? That is amazing, isn't that? Uh, smile. Oh, you can hear Freddie shaking. Smiles are priceless. And are not. Oh, you're right, Freddie. Did you slip over? Oh, dear. Forgotten. Thank you. Barbara, I'm going to, I won't, that's a lot, long one to write, but I know that I will be looking for that. I will be able to find that a lot. Oh, Je George Bernard Shaw. Okay, thank you. I knew it was someone famous. I'll write, I'll write that down. Yes. George Bernard Shaw. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Gosh, amazing. Where's my wonky heart here? Sometimes our hearts do get a bit wonky. Pop that in, have it going the other way. I've done it with the Pritt stick. So I am able to use these. Sam bought me these, aren't they lovely? We got them in TK Maxx. Thank you. Oh, Teresa, yeah, you're saying that to Teresa Cheryl, that's kind of you. I'll just glue that down a little bit more. Where did I put the Brit stick? Oh, I just threw it over there. I'll just put a bit of glue underneath. I don't want to get glue on my pen. 
Sam bought me these from TK Maxx. Aren't they gorgeous? They're metallic pens. Things do work out a bit more reasonable. And that was just before lockdown. Of course, we haven't been able to get back since. Now I've got glue there. Oh, well, never mind. I won't put the pen near that bed. So what colour shall I use? Um, I use teal on this. Shall I go for gold? Yeah, take your time to heal, Teresa. I'm going ahead with the gold. I hope no one else is saying something different. We can do we can do different colours. Just gonna go round it like I did the other one. It's very wonky. Sometimes we do feel that our hearts are a bit wonky. I'm not going to go around there because I did get a bit of glue and I don't want to mess these pens up. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Oh. <laughs> That's it. Relax. A nice way to start the week, isn't it, being together? And what quote to put on in our book? Oh, we haven't had a little giveaway yet, have we? For goodness sake. We'll put Beth's name in, shall we? Look at me, getting all, all behind. That was last week. They're in the post, don't worry, in the post. A little giveaway. For goodness sake, you'll be able to help me, won't you? One Numbers 1 to 100, the nearest or under. Oh, Kimberly. You are, you are a lovely daughter. You are a lovely daughter. That's really lovely. I've just realised we haven't had a little giveaway. We'll pop Beth's name in. Anybody that's been here that's not here, because I think there are less people now, we'll try and put other people's names in as well. And let's have a little giveaway. Shall, is anybody here that's going to, I will, you'll be able to help me, won't you? Shall I put go? Yes, let's put go. And I'm going to send off this week the little fabric ATC. Oh, yeah, Malaya. She's gone to school. Yeah, I'll make sure I give Malaya a number. Yes, yes. I'm going to send this in the post. And Mrs. Gigi and, and um, Dorinda. I'll pop, I'll pop some numbers in as well, but remind me. So I'm going to put go, pop your numbers in, and we'll pop some numbers in for people that aren't here but have been here. Um, think of a number, Beth. And, um, oh, brilliant, you're putting your numbers in. Did we set Malaya? I'll put in, if, I, if we double up, have a little look, especially me. Oh, well done, you're popping your numbers in. Um, oh, Mrs. Gigi, are you there, Mrs. Gigi? Oh, well done, Melissa. Let me know if I'm doubling up. Oh, Deb's, oh, don't worry. Let me put another one in for Mrs. Gigi. You'd already got that one. Um, oh, I put one because sometimes they do go low. And Dorinda. We had 99 last time, Dorinda. And what should we do for Dorinda? Have we had 52 yet? No? I don't. Is Gail there? Gail, are you in here? Now, Gail Tutnell was in here, wasn't she? And Rebecca. Let's put Rebecca in. Okay, Rebecca and Gail T. Anybody else that I'm forgetting? I don't like to forget people. 
no one's ever forgotten. It's just hard to get your brain working this side, isn't it? There we are. I put one in for Beth. Yes, I did. But thank you for reminding me, Cheryl. It's it's at the top. Yeah. Now, shall I say stop? Yes, I did put one in. But if I have forgotten you or you're on the replay and you need some happy mail, just message me. I'm quite happy to send people happy mail. This is just a, a way to send people. Oh, did Janice, I, did I do it wrong? Mrs. Gigi was a one and Janice was a one. Can you sort me out, girls? Do I have to do anything different? Oh, look at Freddie. Hold on. Can you see him? Oh, no, you can't see him. I just daren't move the camera. Ah, oh, he's sitting up in the chair at the end, I'll show you. He's sitting up next to mummy. Oh, he's laying down. Okay. Janice, have I messed it up? Keep me as one. And Mrs. Oh, I can't get further down in the chair. Oh, no, I pressed this button. And Mrs. Gigi's 33. Okay, good. Ah, oh, Dorinda. Um, I put you in a number, dear. Yes, unless you want to. Um... Oh, you saw the pause, Dorinda. We put a number in for Dorinda, didn't we? Correct me if I'm wrong. Yes, I did. 52. We wouldn't forget you. All oh, right, so I'm going to press stop now. But don't worry. We can always, you can always tell me if I've done it wrong. Mm, thank you. Right, so now I need to go to... Um, mm, random number generator. I love this. I was going to write people's names down, wasn't I, Janet? But there's always so much going on. Numbers between one and a hundred. There we are. Create a number between one and a hundred. Now they say 13 for now, but let's just, and then I'm going to, now I'm going to, Generate the number. Is it working? Yes, 26. Ah, oh, your lag is long. Oh, Deb. I, I'm always like that when I'm on chats. So number 26. Who is on 26 or nearest under? It's just a little way for me to send happy mail. But seriously, if you're on the replay and I so appreciate you or... You've been in and I didn't write your name down. Just message me. Not a problem. So, would someone be able to, maybe I can even look up the, Janet, Deb Ferrell was number 22. Oh, is that the nearest one? How lovely. Lovely. Now, Deb had just gone, I think, hadn't she? Oh, lovely. Um, to help out with school, I think, if I'm not mistaken. How lovely. Is Deb's address in Fibsville or Beth's? That's lovely. I've written it down, so I won't forget. I won't forget. So now we've done that, and we've got our wonky heart, I'll finish that off for next week. Would anybody like to tell me what they would like to see in this? Eventually, I'm going to send this off too with all the positiveness in it. I like people to receive positive things. Oh, oh, there you go, Deb. Well done. Well done. I will send it off. It will come on its long journey. Some things arrive, others don't. Teresa is still waiting for some a prize from me. And also, um, who else was waiting for something from me? I did send it and it's not arrived. I've got it written down somewhere else. Yeah, but it's there. I think it was Mary Beth is still waiting for her positive book. 
Oh, her address is in Beth's group. Thank you, Janet. Very helpful. Thank you. Hmm. Dorinda, yes. I think wonky hearts are really good, aren't they? Yes, yes. That speaks to us, doesn't it? Dorinda, have you got a quote that you'd like to see on here? Mrs. Gigi, yes, this is my latest positive quotes journal. It's not as mini as the others. I'm still making a, a mini one. This one's a little bit bigger, made from painty papers on Atlas. I like to have a few going at a time. We're just at the very beginnings of it. And I've got hope as well. Um... Well, if we, we haven't got any other quotes that are coming, I know there's a lag. Nothing comes to mind. Oh, gosh. Dorinda, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to put you on the spot. Gosh, if someone put me on the spot and said that, goodness me, I do apologise. We're just all so cosy with one another here. I'm glad you felt that you could say, I haven't got anything for the minute. That's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> I will choose one. I will choose a quote and I will ink it up and put it on the cloth. Or I might use another form of doing it, actually. I might use paper so it's all different and all different textures. So I think that's it. So what have we done? What have we been up to? I think, ah. Oh. I think I've thrown the aprons somewhere. Where have they gone? We've been doing our aprons. Haven't we? And, and our toucan. And probably lots of other things too that I've forgotten. Oh, you've been to college answering on the spot, but I don't mean to be like that. I can't believe I did that. Oh, but you've forgiven me and I, I love that. Oh, that's a pleasure, a pleasure, Cheryl. Oh, yes, yes. An Alice apron. Yes. I can pop that in next week's drawer if you like. Just remind me. I'll send this one off today and then... Hmm. <laughs> right okay so it's, it's hard to put the phone down isn't it oh before we go i'm getting on the bus actually kimberly oh look at you with your glasses on <laughs> i love that oh we've even had latin quotes and great scissors today we have had a tremendous time you're the music makers and we are the dreamers of dreams. Arthur O'Sh O'Shaughnessy. Oh, gosh. I love that. I love that. I'm going to put that in there so I need to do something smaller. Forgive me while I write this down just in case I lose my chat during editing. We are the music makers. It's an Irish quote, isn't it? And we are the dreamers maybe it's from a song dreamers of dreams oh gosh it's lovely arthur oh sh i don't want to spell it wrong wow thank you ah oh, there lovely yeah, being embarrassed is a waste of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. We can speak our minds to one another. I like that. Wow, that's amazing. Quite amazing. Yes, we're hopping on the bus over to Rebecca's. Is it? Oh, sorry. Wonky camera. I'm going to leave you with a gorgeous picture of maybe Freddie. Oh, Freddie, can we get the camera to you? I'm going to risk it. Oh. <laughs> The pleasure has been mine. I love it. If I couldn't see you guys, if I couldn't be with you guys, I'd, be, I'd really miss you. I'll see you all in the chat, guys. Is anybody able to put in Rebecca's link? Because we are hopping over.
to Rebecca's. We're going on the bus to Rebecca's. I am, if you would like to join me, please do. Thank you, Dorinda. It's been a perfect Monday for me. Thank you, thank you all. Nancy, Janet, oh look, sweet Freddie. Oh, lovely, really lovely. And um, is anybody able to put a link into Rebecca's channel so we can hop over there if we want to? There we are, there's a link. Sorry, you had put it in, there was a lag. I apologize, Teresa. Thank you. Oh, look at you, Candy. You're at work, aren't you? Bless you. Have a good day and a safe journey home. Thank you, Teresa. Really nice, Mrs. Gigi. Suze, oh, sending love to you. Sending love to you all. Goodbye. Hop on the bus if you want to. And I'll see you over at Rebecca's. If not, I'll see you at someone else's later. All right. Bye from Freddie. Freddie, Freddie. Say goodbye to the girls. Say goodbye to the girls. Oh, hugs back. Ah, oh, Emma, goodbye. We're just off to, there's a link. We're just off to Rebecca's on the bus. See you another time, Emma. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye, everybody.